imagine this you're in a movie theater you're watching howard the duck the movie is really bad really really bad but you paid 30 dollars for it now you look to your girlfriend and say yo let's get out of here this movie is super bad i don't want to like watch it she's she looks at you and says are you crazy why we paid 30 dollars for this why do you want to like leave it right now huh I'm crazy i'm not leaving ah! right now you are stuck in this movie theater watching a movie about a duck that you don't even like what you just saw was sunken cost fallacy when you give value to a perceived object based on your past time investment money investment or risk investment so when you perceive the value when you give value to an object like the lady gave value to this movie theater oh my god we paid 30 dollars for it but we already paid it right it doesn't matter whether you're gonna leave or stay but this perceived value of oh i have given 30 dollars i better get its worth from it this is sunken cost fallacy this is a very important one and you will be seeing this almost every day especially in your work let's say you are in a boardroom meeting there's a marketing campaign going on and the whatever marketing company has it's going bad like it's not producing results people are not happy with it no one knows what's happening so you say look man this campaign is going bad let's just drop it but the manager looks at you and says hey we have spent four months of time not only that we have spent two million dollars on this campaign i i need to get something out of it your manager has fallen into sunken cost fallacy you are in a relationship with your girlfriend now she's been cheating on you behind your back she's like talking to someone else she's like going to nightclubs without you knowing her. she's like bad place to be in right now you want to leave this girl but you have it in your mind that I have spent two years with this girl. I spent so much time with her. I spent so much effort with her. I, I don't want to let go of this relationship. Now you have fallen into sunken cost fallacy. Uh, sunken cost fallacy is the most dangerous when you have invested time, money, energy, or something that you love in. This is when sunken cost fallacy plays out. Now the right way to decide uh, on a specific circumstances is is not on how much effort you have put in the past, how much cost you have spent in the past, how much uh, energy that you have spent in the past, but what are you going to get in future? Investors, Shark Tank investors, they they fall into this all the time. Sunken cost fallacy. You you look at the startup, right? You look at this person. You have invested a lot of energy. You have invested a lot of money, time, and you gave a lot of love in this relationship. But you're just not getting something out of it. Now, what do you do? You would think to yourself, "I have invested so much time. I better get something out of it." But you're not going to get. It. You're better off just moving on to someone else. Rational decision making requires you to forget about the cost incurred to date. No matter how much you already have invested, only your assessment of the future cost and benefit counts. This book, The Art of Thinking Clearly, is where I've given uh, all this biases from. A uh, bias is something that clouds your judgment. A very good book. My goal is to like, there are 99 biases in this. I want to like uh, make a video on all of them at least covering most of them and if you have watched thus far please like subscribe hit that bell icon subscribe comment in the uh, comment box i would love to know what you guys think i will see you in the next video